Hello everybody, today we're going to make a calculator program and the first part of it here is to type in print and we've got the calculator program and a slash here and N which gives us a line space. Let's just run this and see what it looks like. Okay, save the source. Okay, that's what it looks like. So it's looking good so far. So this is the start of our program. Now let's come down here and add some code. So the first one is going to be number one. This variable, number one, is equal to float. And input. Input and enter a number. Enter a number. Okay, whoops. Enter a number. Okay, there we go. Enter a number. Let's do let's close that off. So the float here just covers you if you type in any kind of decimal numbers so the program can handle it. Okay, we're going to use another variable now called operator. Okay, operator is equal to input and uh, enter. I'm going to put enter, one, two, uh, add, subtract, add, subtract, um, divide, subtract, divide, uh, multiply, add, subtract, divide, multiply. Okay, so just going to save that. Okay, run the program. Let's have a look what it does. Enter a number, seven. Okay, uh, I'm going to type add. Okay, add. Okay, nothing happens because we've not written the other lines of code. Okay, so we're going to go on to the next variable now, which is going to store number two. Number two is equal to float. Again, float. Input and enter a number enter a number okay just close those off again so there we've got it let's just save this program and we'll go down and we'll show run it okay enter a number seven uh add okay we're gonna add and seven it should take that, yep, but not return anything because uh, we've not coded that line yet. Okay, so now we're going to do a little bit of coding. So we're going to use the if statement here, if operator dot lower here. So anything we type in, these operators we type in, this will reduce it to lower case. So for example, you might have typed in add in uppercase characters and if we didn't put the dot lower in it to reduce it to lowercase uh, Python wouldn't recognize it and it would throw an error if operator dot lower is equal to add say do something so the result of that is going to equal number one one plus number two number one plus number two and then I'll add it together and then we're going to print that result here print result okay so there you go let's just save that let's just uh, test it out shall we okay enter six uh, add let's see one is seven okay everything's okay at the moment now we're going to do the l if statement l if at the operator dot lower operator dot lower is equal to subtract is equal to subtract then the result of that is equal to the result of that is equal to number one one minus 
number two. And then all we have to do there is print the result again. Print result. Okay, let's save that and uh, let's see if it works. So let's run the program again. Okay, enter a number. I'm going to enter seven. I'm going to type in subtract. Seven subtract one. There you go, equals six. Okay, the next one we're going to do here again is another L if. L if operator dot lower is equal to divide. Lower is equal to divide. And then we're going to say the result is equal to number one divided by number two. Okay, number one divided by number two. And of course, we are going to print the result. Okay, so let's just save that. Save as run. Okay, so I'm going to put uh, three, let's say, divide, and then uh, 10. Okay, right, there you go. That's the result there. Okay, the next one we're going to do now is going to be multiply. So, we're going to go on to here. So, L if operator dot lower is equal to multiply. is equal to multiply then we're going to go the result uh, let's have a look the result is equal to number one number one multiplied by number two and then what we're going to do is print result Okay, we're just going to test this out. Okay, let's have a little check of that. Let's see if it works. So let's have a look. enter a number. Five, multiply by five. Okay, we've uh, hit an error there. Number two is not defined. Number two. Let's have a look. Two is not. Oh, I put mumba instead of number. Typo. Okay. And uh, that should have been an M there. So I'll just save it again. You have to watch out because you can make plenty of typos doing this. I've got better as I've been uh, coding, but I still make quite a lot of typos. Five multiply by five. There you go. There you go. Okay, so um, we're nearly finished with this code. All we have to do is do our final else. Okay, this is a catch all. So if anything else happens, I'm going to type print an error has occurred okay an error has occurred okay now what I'm going to do here I'm just going to save that and save save uh, there is an operator that you can put in here to catch these kind of errors and I'll go into that in another video so let's just run this again let's just uh, type in let's see five add one equals six 
Okay. So, there you go. Bob's your uncle and Fanny's your auntie. A simple calculator you can make. Just check out that code. Anyway, thank you very much for watching the video. And uh, if you got to the end of the video, remember to give it a thumbs up and uh, subscribe to my channel. That will help me immensely. So I hope to see you in another video. Bye-bye.